Hi guys, my name is Saurabh Porwal and uh, I've been taking a couple of interviews on DevOps and cloud and Kubernetes, Docker, uh, all these different technologies which uh, relate with cloud. So I found a document online. So this is a completely unprepared video. So it contains a, a few list of questions and answers. So let's go through them and uh, see how, how the questions are framed and how to answer these questions. So let me just share uh, the document and then we'll go through it. So there are a couple of questions in here, uh, more than a couple actually, it contains around 40, 45 pages. So we'll just try to skim through it and learn something out of it. So the first question it says, uh, if the interviewer let's say asks, what is the need for DevOps? I think that DevOps uh, is meant if uh, the companies are trying to see if, if small features can be transported to their customers through a series of release trains, uh, it says about a few benefits. So the DevOps would increase the deployment frequency. It will lower the failure rate of new releases. It will shorten the lead time between fixes. And it provides a faster mean time to recovery in case of a new release which crashes. So I think that's that's the answer that the interviewer might be looking for. Next one. How is DevOps different from Agile and SDLC? So what it says is that Agile is a set of values and principles about how to produce or develop software. So if you want to turn some ideas into working software, you can use Agile values and principles. But the software might only be working on a developer's laptop or in a test environment. So you want a way to quickly and easily and repeatably move that software into production infrastructure. So summarizing, Agile software development methodology focuses on the development of software, but DevOps is responsible for the development as well as the deployment of the software. So that is the answer to how is DevOps different from Agile and SDLC. The next question, what are the top DevOps tools? What tools have you worked on? So DevOps is all is obviously divided between uh, the version control systems. You've got Git, you've got CI, which is Jenkins and Bamboo, or uh, nowadays it's even GitHub Actions are being used. Selenium is used for continuous testing, uh, for configuration management and deployment, infrastructure as code, or you would use Puppet, Chef, Ansible, even Terraform. Continuous monitoring tools, so it's written Nagios here, uh, but you can also use, uh, you've got CloudWatch, you've got Prometheus, you've got Grafana, there are so many nowadays a continuous monitoring tool. Uh, in terms of your monitoring tools, uh, you also have uh, new technologies uh, which do the uh, traces and metrics. So for example, Honeycomb is a, such a new product. Uh, I've used it personally, and uh, yeah, it's a great product to uh, manage the metrics and traces. Uh, it also lists Docker as the standard containerization tool. Uh, there is no alternative to Docker actually, uh, so which is uh, which is good and bad in <laughs> both. But uh, yeah, so these are the tools that you would mention. Uh, you can also mention any other tools if you want, but make sure to include these above tools, obviously. Yeah. All right. So the next question is, how do all these DevOps tools work together? So this lists, uh, you've got version control managed, managing the development of the code. Uh, you've got developers sending the code to the Git repository. Any changes made in the code is committed to this repository. Uh, we have got Jenkins for CI. Uh, we have got Puppet, Ansible for the configuration management. Uh, also Terraform can be used. Uh, once the code is tested, the Jenkins send it for deployment to the production server. After deployment, it is continuously monitored by the monitoring tools. And so, so what you do is you list all these different tools here, uh, whatever is mentioned. You find out the benefits and these are all in the same hierarchy. So Docker containers provide testing environments. So to understand, I, I I think most of you know the answer to this. Uh, so probably we'll just skim it. Uh, it just says a bunch of codes corresponding to each of these DevOps life cycles and uh, how they can be used to deploy and monitor. All right, feel free to pro pause and uh, have a look at this if you're not really familiar. All right, so the next question, uh, what are the advantages of DevOps? So DevOps, technical benefits and business benefits. So the technical benefits will be your continuous software delivery, uh, less complex problems to fix, and the faster resolution of problems. So obviously it's uh, it goes into image agile methodology. 
So what? So it goes in an iteration. So you're you're deploying or more frequently, and uh, the business benefits is faster delivery of features, um, more stable operating environments, and more time available to add value. So these are a very, very common set of uh, basic uh, questions that an interview may ask. Most important thing that DevOps helps to achieve, I think we've already answered all this above. Uh, explain with a use case where DevOps can be used in industry real life. Oh, well, this is uh, this is a very, you can use it anywhere. Uh, so anywhere in IT, in e-commerce, and nowadays even the most of the mechanical uh, industries are also using it. So in, anywhere where there is a, software chain development and uh, release. So you can use DevOps there. Explain your understanding and expertise on both software development side and technical operations. Uh, so this is, uh, I think these, these, are, these are not really uh, important questions. And the patterns of DevOps, I haven't seen anybody asking it in an interview, uh, but uh, the anti-patterns means that the myths of the DevOps, like DevOps is a process, DevOps and Agile are equal. So these 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 are all something that which is not true. All right, so these, these, these are just uh, the small DevOps questions, so just the basic life cycle of DevOps. Uh, in the next video, uh, let me just pause it. In the next video, let, let's, let's go through the version control questions. All right. Thanks for your time, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.